Frau Bücker, ganz herzlichen Dank. Vielen Dank. Ich weiß, Sie sind jetzt alle erstens schon sehr voll im Kopf, zweitens auch hungrig und durstig, deswegen etwas ungeduldig. Aber es ist wichtig, dass wir alle unsere Konzentration jetzt noch mal zusammennehmen, weil wir eine große Chance heute nutzen kann, können. Und ähm, Lydia did the big thing hmm? and had the idea, Lydia Dietrich, to ask whether it would be possible that Olena Semenova could hold a short speech about the movement of lesbian, the rights of lesbian women in the Ukraine, their activities, their organizations and the question how we can support there. So I think we should use this possibility really, really and Olena Seminava, bitte. I'm glad to be here. First of all, and uh, first of all, I want to thank you for inviting me and to give me a chance just to shortly give this overview on my country and uh, my community. Vielen Dank für die Einladung. Ich freue mich sehr, dass ich heute einen kurzen Überblick über die Situation in meinem Land geben darf. So, What is Ukraine? Shortly, just for you to understand what is it. So Ukraine is quite a big country in the middle of Europe. It is surrounded by Russia and Belarus here, then Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, and Poland, and Moldova. Yes, thanks. So we have quite an interesting geographical position and we have Uh, 46 or 48 million population and we have uh, centralized economics and very quite difficult political situation. The Ukraine is central in central Russland, an ex UDSSR state, the umgeben is from Belarus and Russland, in Westen from Poland, Ungarn, Rumänien und Moldawien auf der anderen Seite. Seit 22 Jahren ist ähm, äh, die Ukraine unabhängig und äh, von der Seite. Okay. Und hat 64.000 64 Millionen Einwohner. Ja. So, <lacht> it's okay, I just realized I'm talking too fast. So, Uh, political situation influenced very much on women's situation and uh, on situation in LGBT community in Ukraine. So for now we have uh, a leading party in Ukraine and opposition, yes. Since 22 years Ukraine is an independent country and uh, all this time Our politicians try to build something that will be close to democracy. Also seit den 22 Jahren Unabhängigkeit wird in der Ukraine versucht, Demokratie zu installieren. Und es gibt tatsächlich immer die Regierungspartei und die Opposition. So the leading party is not right or not left. It is just party of business. So it unites uh, people who have money and want to have more of them, yes. So, and the opposition, it's a very strange block for now. It unites uh, three more parties. So it's a block of Yulia Tymoshenko, you know who is here, yeah? So, this is a block of very fascist party called Svoboda. Uh, they are nationalists, they are homophobic, they are anti-women, they are very traditional, they are anti-abortions and so on. And the third one, it's a pity, but the third one is Vladimir Klitschko. Die 
Nationalist and homophobic or anti Also vor allem aus Nationalisten und homophoben Tendenzen, die sich da so sammeln. Und die Klitschko Und die dritte ist die Partei von Klitschko, auch deswegen bekannt, weil er prominent ist, auf die große Hoffnungen gesetzt wurden. Yes, we had a very big hope. So last year we had elections, and uh, as you probably know, Vladimir Klitschko with his party Udar, so in uh, English it's a hit, uh, they just entered elections and uh, won uh, per a certain percent in parliament. Yes, as LGBT community, we just, uh, and uh, women uh, feminist uh, uh, movement, we just had some hopes related to Klitschko, and for now we are very disappointed to see him blocked with fascists in Parliament. Ja, ja, es ist also er ist äh, sozusagen durch die Koalition mit den Rechten wird er blockiert in seinem Engagement. Well, and uh, this was political situation and just a short overview of uh, homosexuality history in modern Ukraine. So in 1991, Ukraine uh, became an independent state when ex-USSR fell down, we became an independent state. And in the same year, the law that criminalized homosexuality, of course, man homosexuality, was canceled. That was a huge, the huge uh, impulse for LGBT community to rise up. And in 1993, we began to move up, and uh, some several organizations, LGBT organizations in different regions of Ukraine, uh, appeared. So, uh, just for you to understand, what is this moment? Uh, how it can act? So, we have actually gay people and we have lesbian people. So, we have like two poles of the question. And one pole already has a history because gay men in, even in Soviet times, they had cruising places, they had toilets, they had flats, they had infrastructure for their community. Also, um die Situation zu verstehen, muss man sehen, dass es so etwas wie zwei Lager gab, die schwulen Männer und die lesbischen Frauen. Die schwulen Männer hatten bereits eine gewisse Geschichte, weil sie einfach geheime Treffpunkte hatten in der Öffentlichkeit, Parks, Toiletten oder auch private Netzwerke, wo sie sich zu yeah, so lesbian women, what they have, what we actually had in the very beginning, actually nothing. We had no feminism, we had no sexual revolution, and we had no any meeting places 70 years before the 1993. Also was lesbische Frauen hatten, war im Grunde gar nichts. Es gab keine Frauenbewegung, es gab keine Treffpunkte, es gab keine feministische Bewegung und auch keine sexuelle äh, Revolution. So, from this empty point, from this total zero, we began our history and uh, since then we just did something. Yes, we had uh, nothing except a double bind and we have this double bind and even now, but actually we did huge steps towards the building of LGBT community and towards the empowerment of lesbian community in our country. Also aus dem Nichts heraus haben wir die ersten Schritte gemacht und wir haben zwar immer noch wenig, aber wir haben äh, Schritte gemacht hin zu einer LGBT-Bewegung und auch hin zu einem Empowerment lesbischer Frauen. 
we created some organizations. So for now in Ukraine, uh, there are 40, 40 LGBT organizations, but only few of them are pure lesbian. Well, why is it? Because uh, actually LGBT movement in Ukraine very connected with HIV prevention and uh, it is related to financial questions and these financial questions are more oriented on gay men than on lesbian women. Also, That's why uh, gay men side is much more powerful, as you understand, yes. So, but we, for now, creating lesbian communities all over the Ukraine. We have 26 regions in Ukraine, and we have small groups uh, almost in half of these regions. We, for now, have a um, very interesting period of uh, lesbian community development. So, actually, we have uh, like very young communities. So, we have not lesbians over 50 years. So, maybe they are somewhere, but they are not visible uh, totally. But for now, we already uh, divide in and uh, unite in different groups of lesbians. So uh, we already divided like uh, for family direction, yes, for direction for people who want to raise, uh, have kids and raise them, uh, for people, lesbian people, I mean, who want to be politically active, for people who want to build co community uh, oriented on culture and sports and so on. And in this process, uh, for now, the main point is uh, exchange, experience exchange. And that's why we are really grateful to Munich community. They are supporting us and they give us their experience, their knowledge and their skills in the questions that we are just faced and they better than 30, 40 years ago and already know how to go this way. And in this very interesting Ausbruchszeit, it is for us interesting to hear from other cities where the movement is already 30, 40 years active and their Vorgehensweise or their experiences to hear and to help us in our process. So this support I mean, this atmosphere, this spirit, and this knowledge, and this um, in inspirement, yes, this is the main point that we really need now to be supported. And genau diese Erfahrung, das Wissen, uh, auch die Atmosphäre, die, was wir hier in München erleben, ist genau das, was wir momentan brauchen als Unterstützung. We need it. We need it to be. Okay. We need it. Okay. We need it. Let's let it. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, so we are facing now like special problems that are related to lesbian community. So, of course, it's homophobia. Yes, it's a problem for all LGBT community. But also we have misogyny as a very great problem. So we had it in society, we have huge sexism inside community from gay men's side and 
in lesbian women community also. And this is a big problem because the inner sexism is uh, also a thing that you must survive as the inner homophobia also. And uh, as we still had it in community, it is very hard to uh, develop further. Well, being a woman, we just force it to hold a stereotypical patriarchal role in Ukrainian just uh, scene of this role. So uh, to be a woman, you must look like a woman. Yes, and uh, to be a woman, you must uh, be married, you must uh, fight up to get a better man to marry up, yes, and you must raise kids. In this case, you are a woman. In all other cases, you are not a woman, you are just nothing. Also, we have a very strong um, conservative or sexist bilder in the Ukraine, die in us all wirken. For example, wie soll a Frau sein? Also, a Frau is not a richtige Frau, when she a good man gefunden hat, when she verheiratet is, or when she Kinder aufzieht. When she does not prove that, gilt she not as a Frau, she gilt eigentlich as a nichts. Yeah, and this leads, of course, on the, the situation when women, lesbian women, just afraid to uh, open their faces and uh, just afraid because they will be not only homophobically discriminated, but they will be discriminated as uh, unright women also. And this is a very hard position, especially for women who live not in the central part, in, not in the capital, but in the regions. So this is our big problem, lack of visibility. Yes, so uh, people don't know what are lesbians and even in LGBT community sometimes we are very invisible. And in this situation, what actually way we should choose? So our political situation uh, just uh, showed us the direction because uh, for now, for two years, our parliament tried to push up uh, so-called anti-gay propaganda bill. Maybe you know, uh, in Russia they have the same situation, yes, and uh, actually for you to know, our gay propaganda bill is just translated from Russian to Ukrainian, so it's the same document that they have in Russia. So. And in this situation, we faced a big problem. If they will pass a bill, we all will be forbidden. No matter what gender or identity or sexual orientation you have now. So you will be forbidden anyway. Yeah. So, and in this situation, for now, we are facing a 
question of uniting. Yes, and for now we need to survive. That's why I think for now LGBT community in Ukraine is uh, has a moment of uh, biggest empowerment. And for now we don't look uh, on a gender or identity or uh, orientation. We just unite to face this homophobic question and to step over it. And in this uh, very uneasy situation today, in this political and uh, homophobic um, statements of our politicians, yes, we for now um, are frozen in our uh, community development. So being a political fighters, for now we are slowed down in lesbian rights in community development, in family uh, development, and so on. So uh, you see, the deal is that uh, for these two years, and we don't know how ma much more, many years uh, for future, we will be forced just to slow down and to fight for survival, not to fight, not to develop our community. And that is also Well, this is the situation in shortly, yes, of course, well, that we have for now. And uh, to end up my speech, I just want to again thank you, City of Munich and Munich community for the huge support we have for already two years. Yes, and uh, I think this is 50% uh, of Munich City cooperation with us that our pride this year was really successful because we could show up on the street with our visibility, with our slogans and with our protest against homophobic politicians in our country. So thank you people.